Hello and welcome to AEV's Installational Tips. In this video, we will dive deep into the nuances of an EX wing installation. Before you get started, you will need some tools. Basic hand tools are all that's required. Allen drivers, a T20 Torx driver, a torque wrench recommended, telescoping magnet, and a slipper bar. A complete list of tools can be found in the installation instruction manual that came with your bumper. Firstly, keep in mind that we have designed our parts with tight clearances, so you might need some elbow grease to get the wing properly seated on the bumper. To help prevent scratches to your fog lights, as you slide the corner assembly into place, we recommend placing masking tape over the fog light lenses to protect them. Once you get the wing properly seated, move to the back of the wing with an M10 bolt and washer. Loosely thread that bolt into the rear inside hole. Make sure you reference your instructions for proper bolt placements. At this point, go ahead and remove the masking tape. Next, grab your slipper bar, put it into the front middle hole to help with the alignment of placing the M12 hex bolt and a washer in the front upper hole on the face. Now let's move to the top of the bumper. Take out the two black button head bolts. They are M8. Again, you might need a slipper bar. Go ahead and loosely thread those in. Flip to the back side again and grab the black button head bolt M10 and loosely thread that in the rear outer hole. You'll notice the technician loosening the corner reinforcement and toe hook assembly. He's doing this to get a little bit more clearance to place a nut in the back side of the bumper for the middle front bolt to thread into. If you're good with a welder, you can modify the OEM frame bracket and add the nut to that. Either way, once done, feed the bolt through the front middle hole and loosely thread it all together. Next, take an M8 button head bolt and rotate the toe loops up and loosely thread that into place. The next few steps, we suggest a slipper bar is handy. Rotate the corner reinforcement bracket into place, using the slipper bar to help align and loosely thread the two black M10 hex bolts and washers into place. Now let's grab the spacer block. Fitting it into place can get a little tricky. You may need to loosen or tighten surrounding bolts in order to slip the block into place. Use a slipper bar once again to help align everything into place. A M10 bolt and washer should feed through the assembly, spacer block, and thread into the factory weld nut on the frame. Rest assured, this is the trickiest part. It's all tightened things up from here. Follow the on-screen tightening pattern for best results. Torque your M12 bolts to 90 foot-pounds, M10 bolts to 40 foot-pounds, and the M8 bolts to 20 foot-pounds. Now let's install that light bezel. Grab the T20 Torx driver, just be careful not to over tighten and strip the threads. Now pop on your adhesive backed knee pad, stand back and enjoy. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. 